We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, may that promise that you help at dawn become mine. We may surely today there be change. May we become a blessed man. May we not be Pharisees who scorn your word. May, not, may we not receive a disease that is unknown because we scorn your word. May we not receive disasters. As much as we love, we receive. May we love you to the point of giving up our lives and to receive all the blessings that Jehovah has prepared. May we endure to the end and receive the blessings where our descendants do well. We believe that we will become patriots. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's say together, sheep. So you've come to receive God's help at dawn. Many people, as they're older, before they die, it's, there's, there's not many people who die in a clean way with, with a blessed death. Why is that? It's because you don't eat medicine. Someone who eats well, they're healthy. But if you don't eat well, you know, we haven't been to North Korea. But even if you see someone at home who's sick, someone who doesn't eat, they're so weak. But someone who eats well, they're healthy. So as you get older, because you don't eat well, you get weaker. But that's not something that I can control. That's why they can't eat. So as you get older, they, it, your engine has, has become old. So with the same of God's word, even though it's the same word, inside of Christ, it's food, but outside of Christ, it kills you. Proverbs chapter 26 verse 9 because you don't know this that's why the more you go to church your personality becomes bad your household doesn't do well you end up doing bad things in society to your country so you see people who cause problems it's elders these people who have believed for a long time even pastors so we see this with our eyes. We, the whole world knows this. So if believing in Jesus was good, why is it that the European church who have believed for 2,000 years, why is it no one goes to church? After 2,000 years, if it was good, then, then everyone will believe, but they don't believe. If you go to Europe, all the churches are empty, and they have, they have signs saying, please leave a donation. You know, they don't have money to maintain, to clean the church. Even though the church made of stone is crumbling, they can't, um, they can't fix it. Why is it? After 2,000 years, it's because no one attends. Why don't they attend? Looking at their ancestors, looking the way they die, looking what they pass down to the children, they realize they don't want to believe. So... God's word has to be sweeter than honey. Why is it they've ended up like that? Because it was outside of Christ. They didn't have the mystery of God. So Colossians chapter 4 verse 3, God says, only speak the mystery of Christ. But because they don't preach this. So our country, after 100 years, we're like this. So after 100 years, our churches will be empty. It will be the same. Europe, they were ruined after 2,000 years. You know, after you tour Europe, people don't believe in Jesus because they see that they've believed for 2,000 years. Why? Why would you believe? So, if you go out and evangelize in Korea, nearly everyone said they've tried church, but they're saying it doesn't work. They're saying there's no one who's a man. 
They're saying, starting from you, you do well. So we're not an exception from this. We're also in that same place. So what is it that God says? He says, this word is living. You know, if I don't help you and you do things by your strength, you will be ruined. That's what God's word says. So at this dawn, God's promise that it will help us, it has to become mine. We have to make sure that this works. So to live healthily for a long time and and to when God calls you to live in a clean way and for tomorrow to be better than today. And even if we can't pass money down to our children, if we pass down how to become a man, you know, even our ancestors say there's always a good ending for the good. But, but people who say, oh, what's the point of being good? It's only disadvantage to me. This is why things aren't doing well. You're, where in the Bible does it say, you know, if you go overseas, that's how you do well? We've seen one of our Korean presidents dying in their own bedroom. If God says no, it won't work. So life and death is in God's hands. One, um, 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 6, you doing well or not is in God's hands. But it's because God's promise doesn't become mine. That's why we're so regretful. So at this dawn, you've come to do well. So, so Busan First Church, we have service three times a day. According to the word, Psalm chapter 55, verse 17, this is what God says to do. We're doing this. So that a church that is doing according to the word, you know, if it doesn't happen according to the word, we don't need to do this. You know, nutritious medicine, there's no one who likes nutrition, nutritious medicine as much as Koreans. And then education, you know, Korea, we want to learn so much. Even if the parents are starving themselves, they live as beggars for their children. You know, they'll even sell their field to, to educate their children. So it's good to learn, but if you learn, from a robber, you become a robber. That's the way we're learning. So God says, you know, if you've lived like that, if, if you've earned wealth with bad things, how do you die? Look at your family. That money that they've earned, how do they, how do they lose it all? Have, don't look at others. Look at your own family. They lose it all in such a filthy way. If they've earned a lot, they have a filthy disease. Why is that? It's according to God's word. You know, it, our, our parents, they all lived well, but they all lose it in a filthy way. And some people end up with debt. So all they do is pass down disasters and curses to their children. So even if you didn't even meet your parents, that disease of the parents goes down to the children. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18. So because there's no way to block this, that person just ends up with that disease. So there was a pastor who with a disease, he said, my parents, they received it at a certain age, but I received it 10 years earlier. It's according to the Bible. Yes. So you and your children will receive your, those diseases. Your parents had it and your children will get it. And more and more, it gets faster. So these newborns are born with these diseases that, that, uh, that old people have, like high blood pressure and... So these babies are born already with the curses and they suffer. So no matter how much money, it's useless. Once, once you become sick, you know, God, he makes you lose all that money. Why? Because what you've planted with evil, you have to, you end up losing it all by evil. So what God says, you can't avoid. So what is it you've come to eat? You say that you need to be healthy. Well, then you need to eat good things. The best thing is to eat a medicine that makes your blood good. So you've come to eat that medicine. So if your spirit does well, then everything does well. 
And so this morning we're going to eat this medicine. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Let's find that. So when you come to Busan First Church, you keep eating good things. The best thing is the word. But if you eat it outside of Christ, it's disasters and curses. But if you eat it inside of Christ, it's the best medicine. So if you keep eating this, that's why you keep doing well, no matter what anyone says. You do well, your children do well. So if you repent, starting from me, I'm at peace. And my children keep changing to become obedient. I'm sure you've experienced this. So what is this? It's showing that you're doing well. So God's word to the Pharisee kills them. But in Christ, this word saves me. So because people don't know this, they eat the word and they're ruined. That's why Europe doesn't want to eat it anymore. And Korea, the Pharisees, the denominations, they can never do well. And they keep asking for a short sermon. Why? Because the more they eat, the more they die. But what about us? This word is sweeter than honey. So let's read. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So to heal your disease, your bone makes blood. So depending on that, you can heal your disease or not. Inside of your blood, the blood in the Garden of Eden had no disease. It was able to win over all disease. So this healing of the bones, we keep trying to eat this nutritious medicine to make our bones well. But all of the world's things are for beasts. It's, you know, all we have is this grass or animals. No matter how much we eat of that, how much do you think you're going to get health? So God says, your bones create blood. Your blood is what wins over disease. So what is the best medicine for your bones? It is this good word. So if you eat a lot of the word, just like if you eat a lot of good food, you have health. If you eat a lot of the word, your bones become good so that you win over disease. So that's how your spirit does well. Everything does well. So at this dawn, if, and, at, and at midday, and, at e and, the e and in the evening, if you eat this word, you and your children keep becoming healthier. So if you come to Busan First Church, you keep not having sickness because your blood is getting better. And so you don't need to go to the hospital. So if you need to go to the hospital, quickly repent and, and have this this nutritious medicine, which is to eat the word, which makes your blood healthy. So as much as the parents eat, the children become healthy. So 3 John verse 2, it's not just health. It's your spirit does well. All things on earth do well. And then you have health in your body. So that's God's promise. So someone who eats a lot of the word, they're healthy. How precious is this promise? So what we have to eat, it's the worldly food. You know, in this world, they can't say eating worldly food, you can make your bones healthy. God says you have to eat the, the word. So if you eat a lot of the word, then your, your blood becomes good. So if you only eat a little, then you only health, healthy a little. So someone who eats a lot of the word, that's why the sermon has to be long. Because that's when your, your bones become healthy so that your blood can win over disease. Everything does well so that your business does well, your children do well, our country does well. This is the blessing we've come to receive. God is so good. So this word is sweeter than honey. So this word, so pleasant words. Mark chapter 10 verse 18, only God is good. So only God's words. So yesterday I was talking about the Spirit of God. So these good words, only the word that someone who's received God's Spirit can eat. So if you try to feed a demon, you think they can eat God's word? No. So if you don't know the mystery of God without repentance, nothing works out. So in a rotten... It, so if you have a bowl of food because of that one spoon of rottenness, 
you know, the whole bowl rots. So, if that, if a child eats it, then because of that little bit of rotten food, if you add it to his food, the whole food becomes rotten and the child will die. So, he, when it says good words, the, the word that someone who's received God's Spirit eats. So, this is why when you read the Bible, it doesn't become yours. If anything, you get indigestion. So, good is only God. Mark chapter 10, verse, 12, eight, verse 18. So, only God is good. So, these good words, the words of God. So, when you have worries in your heart because you don't repent, when you have sin, that's when you have worries. That causes headaches in my, in my head. So evil thoughts has 10,000 roots. The, the evil that comes from our heart has 10,000 roots. So imagine how many branches and, and so this worry in our heart goes to our head and that's why we have this headache. The way to fix this. So with good words, the word that someone who's received the Spirit of God, only with this word can you change it to joy. You know, you are eating such good things. So even though you're just sitting here, you know, if something's good for you, you don't know how to do it, but you know that it's tasty. So a sponge, you know, it's so tasty, it's so it's soft and but, but you have to mix the right things you know if you don't mix it then it becomes like a stone so depending on how much you, you mix it it becomes a sponge but you don't know how to do it but the mum she she's she's mixed it and that's why you're able to eat this this soft cake but if you don't know how much egg to put in you don't know how much to mix it then it won't become a sponge so you think you're just eating anything but but what you eat there's no indigestion the more you eat the better you become so after eating this without you realizing you keep becoming healthy so if you're healthy that means your spirit is doing well and because your spirits you're doing everything's doing well that's why you have health that's 3 John verse 2 so without you realizing if you keep coming here and eating sometimes past the pastor pierces and it's uncomfortable to hear that's not me you know what I pray most about to God I say Lord please don't use me so much for rebuke but Rebuke is the greatest love. So every time you hear rebuke, you shine. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 13. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 5. Rebuke, open rebuke is the greatest love. So demons, they don't know anything but correction. So if you want to receive re re correction, come to the word. But after correction is, is rebuke. You know, someone who wants to do high jump, you know, so first it's by correction. So those people who learn in the world, that's still the low level. But after that, it's rebuke to Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. So why is God's word rebuke? Because he loves us. So Proverbs chapter 29 verse 19, even though he loves us, a servant doesn't know how to hear good words. And that's why he gives us rebuke. So when I speak rebuke, you know, do you know how much I repent in case I set, I'm doing the wrong thing? But all of God's word is rebuke. So it's not just to rebuke and be cursed. It's for you to be fixed. So what is it to be fixed? It's to become righteous, to be with God. In the world, there is no way to become righteous. So in the world, if someone is successful or promoted, you have to know they have all evil things. All things that you've done not within the Lord, they've done it with evil. Do you know how double-minded they are? When those people come, 
You know, if you see the concrete on the road, you know, they have to, they have to bring this huge um, machine to, to crack it. So if someone's heart, if they're successful in the world, there's two types of success. One, to ruin yourself and your children. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19 to 20, someone who's cursed. You know, if you want to break that person, you need dynamite. You need to get that machine and just and jackhammer them. You know, someone like that, without me realizing, God makes me pierce them. And I think, God, why, is, why am I saying such scary things? You know, why am I having to break this concrete? Because later, I realize it's someone who is so evil, who's pretending not to be. So, in order to crack them, you know, I have to say such things. So, I think, why am I saying such things? Who's come? So, at a revival, you know, God, He's guiding me. And then someone comes in, and if they're, if they're concrete, without, like, I end up saying, um, I curse someone as a dog. Why is it that suddenly I'm cursing someone as a dog? Because of those people that have just come in. So after the revival, everyone's just, you, you know, the same. But you see those people who acted so prim and proper, and they're, like, dripping um, from their noses. And, but then other people, they depart. But because they've been pierced, their whole lives, they're, they're pierced thinking, am I a dog? And it, they realize on their deathbed. And so there's a saving of a soul. So we, we don't know, but the Father does. But do we always have to be hit like that? Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 3, do we always have to be that, that, that stony ground? No, we have to change to good ground so that the, the word, the seed of the word can be sown. So we have to eat this. God is so good. So without us realizing, if we eat this, can someone like me do well? Well, you and I, we can't do it, but it's God who can. So here it says good words. So it's the words that someone who's received the Holy Spirit. So they're like a honeycomb. So it's when you eat it with your heart. So it's because your heart is dirty. The sins of our heart, that's why we can't taste this. So those people who come to Pusan First Church and then there are these beasts that perish, that depart. They think they're so smart. It's because their heart is so dirty. That's why they can't taste it with their hearts. So those who don't know the mystery of God, you'll go to hell. So if you don't know the mystery of God, and then these fakes, these Pharisees who act as if they're better than people who do know the mystery of God, they're the ones that deserve wrath. They don't know how to eat the word with their heart. Those who don't know how to eat the word with their heart, they have demons inside of them. Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. And so if you give them the demons are ta this take that demons don't want to hear it because they don't belong to God. John, John chapter 8 verse 47 and yet they call themselves pastors or elders. They say dog talk. So if the word is not as sweet as honey, you know, you have to eat the word with your heart. But if you have these sins of the heart and the sins that hate to keep God in their heart, which is cursing, curses, you know, you have to tell them you need to repent and become a man. So piercing someone with correct words is love. So even if they don't want to hear it, Proverbs chapter 28, verse 23, wherever they go, you know, you have to, you, that word where you said your heart is filthy, you have sins in the heart, and you need to eat the word with your heart, that keeps, that keeps, going round and round inside of them. So even though they don't want to hear it, that word saves them. That's fine. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 23. In the end, that person ends up giving thanks, but you don't have that love. So you don't keep the commandment. Because you don't keep the commandment, you're a fake. If you don't keep the commandment, you'll go to hell. Matthew chapter 19, verse 17. So because you don't love your neighbor, you'll go to hell. And so this is why you don't do well. And that's why Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13 Every, daily you have to exhort each other so you can see if someone does well or not by whether they love their neighbor 
Loving your neighbor is to love your spouse, your your family, your the saints, the country, the pe- the people. That's when our country will do well. But if you don't do this, then you're tied up to evil spirits. Why is it that I don't do well? You look at their actions. They don't love the person next to them. In other words, they don't love themselves. So because I don't have love, if you haven't loved God, you can't love your neighbor. But someone who loves God, they love their neighbor. So why is you don't receive? Looking at the way you act, all you do is worry about yourself. You don't worry about whether someone beside you is dying or not. You don't have love. So you have the actions of going to hell. You know, you say that you've eaten this word, but this word isn't sweet as honey. Other people are all clapping, and, and you know, you look like a monkey. You know, in a circus. No matter how much a monkey claps, they're not a man. They're just mimicking. If this word is sweeter than honey, how can you eat it like that? And that's why, because you're lying, that's why you don't do well. Looking at your actions, you can see. Looking at the way you do service, you can see. So why is it you don't have that love for your neighbor? Because you're like, well, they don't want to hear it. You look at people who don't do well. You ask them to do something. They pretend to do it if someone's looking. Otherwise, they don't. You know, whether the, the food burns, whether the washing burns. You know, I couldn't find some of my clothes. Why? Because they've all been burnt. It's so sad. You know, they turn on the gas and they just leave. It's so sad. If you do that in someone else's in someone else's house, the owner is going to, you know, tell you to leave. If you keep using someone like that, then you'll be ruined because it's like with like. So, let's read together. He who rebukes a man will afterward find more favor than he who flatters with the tongue. Amen. Let's read it again. He who rebukes a man will afterward find more favor than he who flatters with the tongue. Amen. So, the flattery at the beginning seems to be good to hear, but you'll both be ruined. What is this flattery? It's to put a net in front of you. It's to kill you. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 5. But correct words, you don't want to hear it. But but as time goes on, you end up loving. So you don't do this. That's why you will receive disasters and curses. This word is not sweet as honey. If you want this word to be sweet as honey, your heart has to be clean. So if this, if you're eating something sweet as honey, how can you fall asleep? Someone who comes here with joy, they don't fall asleep. But those people who force themselves to come, they come here and they fall asleep. And that's why all disasters go to them. Why? Because they don't repent. If you don't repent, you can't be hot or cold, but you're lukewarm. It's so sad. You look at people who don't do well, that's what, all, that's what they always do. If you say you don't know, you should say you don't know. If you know, you, you should say you know. But because you're lukewarm, everywhere you go, you find things out lukewarmly. You can't be clear and say it's hot or cold. If, you don't, if you're not like that, then God will vomit you out. Revelation chapter 3 verse 15. So you come here, um, you know, forcing yourself to come, and as soon as you come, you fall asleep. They're cursed. They can't do well, but they make it like that. If you repent, then this word becomes sweet as honey, which is, which is the best medicine. So you have health, you have blessings, you have eternal life, you receive all things. At this dawn, this is what we've come to receive. Today, let's be victorious. If you're not doing well, it's because you're lukewarm. If you don't repent, you become unclear. You can't give love to others. That's not something good. That's someone who is so cursed. So today, do you want to live eating the best medicine? Do you want to eat God's word, which is sweet as honey? So you have to hold on to, to the word to always have it in your heart. That's humility. But after the service, you say, what word are you eating? If someone's thinking already they're a fake, they're not eating, they haven't eaten. 
So that's someone who's receiving disasters and curses. That's someone who brings about disease inside of them. That's someone who can't heal their disease. So if someone's come to truly heal their disease, then in their house they've got the Bible verses stuck all over the house. But people who don't do well, you know, they may they they may have just one Bible verse stuck stuck up. They can't heal their disease. Their business won't do well. Their children won't do well. It's they that made them like they that made themselves like that. You have to eat this word to make your blood healthy. So if your blood's not healthy, how can you win over disease? So that person will eventually, you know, die and pass disasters to their children. That's recorded in Deuteronomy chapter 6. So because you don't have time to read Deuteronomy chapter 6, someone who's done it before you, you know, I say write it up on, write it up in your house. You know, keep, keep putting, keep feeding clean water to your sprouts. If you if you give dirty sprouts, then those if you give dirty water, the sprouts will die. So if you only have one Bible verse up, then you end up dying. But if you eat a lot of the word, your blood becomes healthy. So problems are happening for you to eat the word and for you to live. So if you come to Busan First Church, whether you want to eat or not, you keep getting fed, and that's why you get you get healthy. You have strength. So your descendants will do well. Let's all pray. Father of blessings, the word not being sweet as honey is a sign that my heart is still dirty. The good word, God's word, the word that you eat after you receive the, the spirit, it changes all my worries and anxieties to joy. No matter how much you eat the word inside of Christ, there is no negative effect. As much as you eat the word, you become strong and healthy. Your blood, your bones become healthy. So you go to heaven. Everything you do does more well. And we believe all disease will be healed. May we pass these promises down to our children. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen.